uh, well, so we're back, and this time we have a different kind of repair. So I believe this, yeah, it is. I'm a power supply. Uh, this is the customer email. But of course, you don't understand. It right in my language. What the customer is saying, basically, on everything what he's writing there, he's saying, uh, sorry, in, uh, the fuse blow up. I know I can replace the fuse, but I don't want to blow up my fuse in my house. So I send the power supply to you, so you can blow up the fuse on your house. <laughs> exactly that's what he's saying. Basically saying, okay, uh, I know the, the fuse didn't blow up for nothing, so uh, uh, I'm sending it to you to have a look. <laughs> Uh, well, about if, if you know it's only the fuse, mm -hmm. but the customer know the fuse can no, cannot blow up without a reason, and that's right. That's right. Okay, this is a fuse. Yeah, I'm assuming this is the fuse. This is the varista. Let's uh, let's have a look. I mean, this is a nice power supply, iMac. Yeah, old iMac, twenty-seven inch. Let's check together the fuse. Not sure if he is uh, speaking about this fuse or the fuse from uh, actually the the power lid. So the fuse is here, and the fuse is blow up. It's not good. The varista. The varista. <laughs> Two ohms. Check on the screen. Two ohms. Do you think it's the varista? It's either the varista or one of those coils, but this is less likely, or most likely the rectifier bridge or this capacitor. One of those. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do something beautiful. I will call me the power supply and the thermal camera. And let's see what is happening. How can I do it? How can I do it? Like that. Yeah. 4 amps. So with 4 amps, with 4 amps I can't see any... Wait, every coil is getting hot. You can see? Every coil is getting hot. Check there. So what is the problem? Check there. You can actually see the... You can see the thermal signature from the, from the rectifier bridge. But wait, it's going further. Check there. Check that coil. Does mean... What does mean? So the rectifier bridge is here. Then we have the plus and minus. Let's check a plus and minus. Zero ohms. So do you think it's only the rectifier bridge or uh, actually these zero ohms from the plus and minus? Because we have short on the AC and we, we have short on the DC. Okay, let's do... Uh, let's do a test. You know what, I don't know which is plus and minus, but I don't think it's matter. Here we have a short. Short, 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 short. Every, everything is shorted here. So I'm going to come with the power supply here. Yeah, we don't care about the polarity because it's a short. So that coil is getting hot. If that coil is getting hot means the short, it's also... Uh, somewhere on the motherboard. It's not only on the rectifier bridge. 
So basically, probably a MOSFET died. Yeah, let's wait a little. One second. Why, why those coils are getting hot? Wait, it's making no sense. So I'm coming with a current on the input. The coils are getting hot. I'm coming with a current on a zero ohm short circuit, yeah, on the output of the rectifier bridge, and the coils is, are getting hot. Yeah, let's do a trick, yeah? I'll show you a trick. So, say hello to my little friend, yeah? Let's cut this pin down. Yeah. Okay, perfect, perfect. Now let's check now. With the multimeter. No, the rectifier bridge is not shorted. No. But the board, yeah, going on that duration, it is shorted. One second. But why the term, why the varistor is not shorted? Because I disconnect. I disconnect the DC, not the AC. Because probably the rectifier bridge is shorted. Yeah. So check here, yeah? It's one diode shorted on the on the it's two diodes are shorted on the on the rectifier bridge. But it's one diode which is coming from the minus, and it's one diode which is coming from the plus. And it's shorted with the uh, with the input. So basically, the electronics got AC uh, inside. Yeah, okay, now it's making sense. So the rectifier bridge is dead, and also something is shorted here. Yeah. Now it's everything is clear. Now let's cut this pin. And with two pins disconnected, Check here, yeah, so I disconnect this pin, so here we have zero ohms, and I disconnect this pin, and from here to here we have zero ohms. So basically we have a short like this, and a short like this. <laughs> Beautiful, I mean, what are the odds? Okay, okay, that's fine, that's okay. So the question is, okay, but what is short? So what do we have here? Here we have a PFC circuit, and I'm not sure if we can get rid of the PFC circuit on a on a um, iMac power supply. And here we have the main power supply. Let's try to find out actually what is shorted. Huh? So coming with the power supply here and here, I believe yeah, I believe that's the plus. That's not important. Perfect. 4.7 amps. And what is getting hot are actually those resistors from here. Those ones, yeah? So I will come with the power from here and after the resistor. So I'll come here, yeah? 4.7 amps. And you know what, the track, check there, the track is getting hot up to the transformer. You can, you can see, you can follow the, uh, the heat. Uh. So it's coming hot to here. If it's coming hot to here, <sighs> 
here it's a mess. You can see you can't you can't really see exactly the tracks where are going. But I'm assuming is this MOSFET. So here it's a MOS no two MOSFETs. Okay, let's check with the with the multimeter. From here to here, good. From here to here, good. 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 Okay, that's strange. So none of those MOSFETs is shorted. Probably the short is from uh, drain to the source here. No? Okay, maybe on this way. Yeah, from here to here is short. But the MOSFETs in particular are not shorted. Yeah, you can see here are two MOSFETs, three pins and three pins. <coughs> so the MOSFETs are not shorted. Then let's move further, yeah? So this, this transformer is... Uh, where are the drivers of that transformer? Here. Those ones? No, sorry, I was wrong. Actually... Yeah, I was wrong. So those two MOSFETs which are good are from this big transformer, yeah? And here, check here the, the path, yeah, the path. Three pins here, two here. Because you have one MOSFET and you have one diode. So the MOSFET, zero ohms. The diode, zero ohms. Not sure. Um, not sure which one is shorted here. But one second, because the heat was to this transform. Okay, the yeah, yeah, it's making sense. So the heat. No, wait, we don't have a PFC circuit. Actually, this big one, it's another transformer. And here is the output. And the output is going where? Who knows? You know what? I'm not even sure this is worth to be repaired. Just because probably this is cheap. This board. 2012, 2014 um, power supply, IMAC power supply. Let me check how much is on eBay. Now, just to understand what I mean. To buy a working power supply is like 34 pound. 25, 25 pound. You know, I can bet I can find even cheaper. 19. 19 pounds plus postage. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Yeah, so now you understand it's not really worth to be repaired. I mean, I can do it. I can replace the MOSFET. Yeah? I can replace the rectified bridge. That's once. I can replace the fuse with a proper calibrated one. Then I can replace the MOSFET. Probably the diode is good, but the MOSFET is gone. But the question is, yeah, and you have to ask this question yourself. If I replace the MOSFET, do I have any warranty actually the driver is good? <laughs> because this, this will be tricky to get that chip. That's the question. Because, I don't know, for 20 pounds now, maybe I'll buy another one and I'll send it to the customer. Oh, wait, no, 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 one second. Because this one with 19 is for parts or not working. Not working, okay. Yeah. 
and this one is tested with 25 tested uh, you see 25 pounds you get a tested one free postage so uh, i will say you know no 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 i will not do it i will give back the customer i'll tell him to buy another one from ebay but i can buy one from ebay and tell the customer you know what the repair is 50 pound and i earn 25. <laughs> But no, I'm not going to do it. No, no, no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So probably the customer didn't check the price uh, on eBay. Or he's testing my patient. <laughs> One of those. But this is a beautiful power supply, which is not worth to be repaired. Just because it's cheap to buy another one. But again, if you want to fix it, it's not a big deal to, re to replace the, the reactive air bridge. And probably it is. It, 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 it'll, be, it'll be a little bit of pain to desolder the heatsink. <laughs> yeah? So you, you'll, uh, you'll have some trouble here. Then even this heatsink with the MOSFET, check here, it's soldered here. This it will give you some headache to remove this uh, heatsink. Then the final final question is like how I said, the driver is still good because the dials were shorted on such a way, it was direct connection. Yeah, you have like wire from here to the circuit. Yeah, I'm gonna stop here because uh, uh, clearly this is no worth to be repaired. I mean, we already spent like. 20 minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes on my OBS. Trying to diagnose this power supply. But yeah. Yeah, that's the world we are living in. Okay. So I'm gonna stop now. Uh, you know, for the love of the video and YouTube, I could fix it, but I have nothing here. Uh, maybe, maybe I can get a rectifier bridge, but no MOSFET. I don't have a high voltage MOSFET here. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe, and see you on the next one. Bye.